Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you. And tonight I'm talking about Werewolves Within, released earlier this month uh, uh, by Ubisoft Entertainment, the game distributors. I wasn't aware they were making their own movies now, except for, of course, the monstrously disastrous uh, Assassin's Creed from about five years ago. Uh, this movie is based on the 2016 video game that basically only shares the same premise of town folks looking for a possible werewolf. Uh, this movie is directed by Josh Rubin, who did the the indie horror, a very small horror film called Scare Me, which I haven't seen, starring Aya Cash from The Boys. Um, and this film stars Fresh Faces Sam uh, Richardson, Milana Van Trubb. Um, as well as Michaela Watkins from SNL, Wayne Duvall from the the latest uh, Quiet Place 2, and Cheyenne Jackson from American Horror Story. Uh, pretty much everybody else in this movie is people I had never seen before. Uh, the whole premise here is the... Uh, um, a, uh, a storm is coming in. And all the power's been knocked out of this very remote mountain town. Um, uh, like I said, snowstorms coming in. They've lost all their powers, and the generators have all been uh, sabotaged. Uh, there's like seriously only like a dozen, maybe thirteen most people in this whole town, and they all decide to hang out at the local lodge B and B to uh, wait out the storm when suspicions, because the the because when you know. A dead body pops up, and the state of the bo dead body and the state of the destroyed generators, uh, suspicion starts to rise that the more and more people start to deny it, it's, it starts to look like it's a werewolf. And people start to wonder it's a werewolf. And of course, um, uh, uh, little rivalries, old history. Girls, calm down, I'm shooting a video. This video came back here because it was quiet. Um, uh, don't drag her again. Just look at her arm. Um, uh, the uh, yeah, like I said, petty differences, old rivalries, just just all the little unspoken bitterness between people starts to come out more and more. And uh, yeah, sure, the movie plays a lot into uh how. The real monsters of the world take advantage of people and of honest, good people and turn them against each other. Uh, but, um, very important to point out, this is, I mean, the, very much a comedy. It's funny as hell. Sam Richardson, hysterical, gives, which makes his character work, uh, keeps him from being just, he's, he's a nerd, but he's played with such earnesty. That you can't help but love the character, and uh, and just a wild group of cast of characters, and there are lots of long shots of characters interacting in all kinds of background, foreground, and overlapping dialogue. Uh, I think it was very well made and uh, well made by Josh Rubin and well written by Mishna Wolf. I uh, also got a praise the. Uh, both the photography by Matthew Weiss and the score by Anna Drubik in this film. Uh, those two elements kept the film grounded, and thanks to uh, like a, the photography and the score, the film never that never felt like it drifted too far into comedy, and always felt like I was watching a horror movie, uh, which is you know very appreciated. Um, I don't want to give away too much, really, anything else about this movie, but ultimately, this is a five-star movie. I had an immensely good time. It may have been the most relentlessly entertaining movie I've seen uh, in a couple of years. It's easily the best movie I've seen in maybe a year and a half, at least since Parasite. Uh, just as far as just, it's not only is it well made, there are great movies like uh, The Father and really compelling horror films like Possessor in the Lodge and uh, really entertaining wacky horror movies like uh, 12 Hour Shift. But this movie was just, I just loved it. I just, I just want to pra praise this movie. When you see a good movie, it's just kind of like 
talking about it, thinking about it, look, reading about it just takes up the rest of your day. I mean, I have a lot of shit going on today, but, you know, just that movie was always kind of bouncing around. I couldn't stop thinking about this movie all fucking day. I thought it was masterfully done. Um, the movie has a low budget, but almost, I mean, uh, I mean, insanely low budget, like only like $6 million for the film. And it's like, you know, they use every penny and they even kind of make fun of their lack of budget in, in a lot of ways, in a like tongue in cheek way. Uh, and also I got to praise the utter, utter and total lack of wokeness in this movie. Uh, our hero is a black man and there's like... No big deals made about him being black. There's no preach about, oh, you assume this because I'm black or this and that. He never has a moment where he rolls his eyes and goes, white people. Because he's the only black guy in the movie. Uh, the only time they get a, a, make a joke using his um, uh, race as a point of reference is when a woman um, uh, gives him a snow angel and he gives him a Christmas angel and tells him, you can put this on your Kwanzaa tree. He's like, yeah, that's not a thing. <laughs> But I said, very good movie, terrific char characters, wonderful performance, a brilliant script, and a score and photography and DP that kept the film grounded. And I gotta also mention, I just love the, the build of suspense in this movie, and and the, the layering of the mystery. Uh, never felt like it kept throwing me for jumps and guesses as the film was going on. Sure, and yeah, I just I cannot praise this movie enough. I adored. This movie, five fucking stars, easily, for Werewolves Within. I legitimately cannot wait to see it again. Anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you seek this movie out. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.